put in bay. De Rivera Park. I'm assuming this was a cannon that was used in the war in 1812? This is a 100-pound <laughs> I do not want to know the sound that thing makes. Says the Battle of Lake Erie, the bicentennial was 1813 to 2013. Don't give up the ship must have been a quote from something. Um, 557 sailors fought for our freedom September 10th, 1813. 200 years later, 557 modern day patriots honored their service in a historical reenactment. Most interesting smell they've ever smelled on a heckin' island in their whole heckin' lives. Entrepreneur and philanthropist Joseph de Rivera was born in Barcelona, Spain and built an import business in New York City. In 1854, he bought six Lake Erie Islands and had South Bass Island surveyed and subdivided into 10 acre lots. He just bought six islands, okay. De Rivera traveled between New York and South Bass Island, initially turning Putin Bay into a sheep farm. He encouraged settlement on the island and its wine industry by helping German immigrants purchase land to plant vineyards. He donated five acres for this waterfront park, the site for the first school and the land for the first church. To promote travel to the island, De Rivera opened the island's largest cave as a tourist attraction. He is buried in the island cemetery, which is on land he donated for that purpose. I don't know why there's a random seal and sea lion, but okay. That's a sea lion, Viffy. I mean, we're on a lake. We're not on the sea or anything. The ocean. We're not on the ocean. And that is a dolphin? I thought it was a seal, but now I think it's a dolphin. Pretty sure it's a dolphin. Uh-oh. She doesn't see it. Oh, there she sees it. <laughs> you missed it. You missed the squirrel. I'm seeing it before you did. <laughs> you missed it. Come on. This is a cute little grilling place or whatever. Okay, I guess those picnic tables are probably out here in peak season, right? This one is different than the rest. World War II and Korean War. 7 millimeter anti-tank gun. Well, there's probably water in here and some kind of fountain, maybe. It's gotta be some kind of fountain, maybe during peak season only. After Memorial Day, probably. Perhaps, or it's... Yeah, perhaps. I guess there's a statue of him. Within this enclosure, reposed for a century, the remains of three American and three British officers killed in the Battle of Lake Erie, September 10th, 1813. They were disinterred September 11th, 1913, and reinterred in the crypt of Perry Memorial with international ceremonies conducted by the commissioners of the Perry Victory Centennial. Dedicated to the brave men and women living and deceased of all the armed forces who gave their time, sacrifice, and lives for the cause of freedom and democracy. Thank you, troops and veterans of these United States of America for serving our sovereign country and protecting our liberty. In memory of Albert Schiebel, 112th Engineers USA, Rex Downing U.S. Naval Reserve who gave their lives in the service of their country, and their comrades from Putin Bay Township who served in the 1914 World War to 1918. Over here, South Bass Island, is put in bay that city oh there's a squirrel okay we're gonna go terrorize the squirrel she sees it i'm gonna get mom no you're not <laughs> it hasn't moved yet it's still there i don't think bayo notices or cares it's gonna run holy shit it's right there to an island just to terrorize all the squirrels. <laughs> come on. Come on. That's what it was eating. It was eating corn on the cob. <laughs>